Sometimes people ask, how do we use the Wesleyan quadrilateral to shape our faith in new contexts? Well, firstly, that absolutely means we have to ask the question, what on earth is the Wesleyan quadrilateral in the first place? And I'm not going to call it that again because I'll stumble over my words. I'll call it the Wesleyan quad, okay? So, basically, the four things that make up the Wesleyan quad go like this. Scripture, reason, tradition, and experience. These are understood as the bedrocks of Wesleyan theology. And in particular, it starts with scripture. So the, the king or the queen of all of the ways Wesleyan thinks about everything is to say, what does scripture tell us about this? How do we use scripture? How does scripture inform our decision making? What might the Bible tell us or teach us or enable us to think through carefully? And so in any new context, one of the things we might say is, well, what does the Bible teach us? Are there things that we can look at or explore that would say, the scripture says this. But then we don't just read the Bible. We read the Bible through particular focus or particular lens. And so we say, actually, what does reason do here? What do our minds, what does the best of learning help us understand in this setting? And so in a context setting, that might say, what do the demographics here tell us? What do sociologists say about this place? What does the environmentalist movement teach us about this setting? What might urban planning teach us about this setting? In other words, we use our reason, our mind's eye, to help us understand every context. And then it says tradition. Well, tradition kind of, capital T, is you know, well, what does that teach us about anywhere? What might the tradition of the church say about this kind of setting? So let's suppose it's rural. We dig deep and we say, what do the churches over time who are based in rural settings have to teach us about what we're doing now in rural settings? How can we draw on that for our learning? And then there's experience. Now, experience can play out in two different ways. The experience of the collective witness. What does the church have to teach us about this? And then our own personal experience also. What does our experience of God, our life experience, teach us about this? And we draw all of these things together to say, actually, this is pretty much a way of looking at the world that helps us be really good pastors, leaders, church people in any setting that we find ourselves. So we go back around and we say, scripture, reason, tradition, experience. How does that shape everything we do on a day-to-day -day basis to serve this particular setting that we find ourselves in? And then we find all kinds of creative and innovative answers to what we're doing in the here and the now.